Ryan Blair, the CEO of Vaisalus, and uh, the author of a very interesting new book about going from being a gang member to being an entrepreneur. Ryan, what is Vaisalus? It's a multi-level marketing company, right? Yeah, Vaisalus is a little bit of a different business model. In fact, it's a customer-focused company. Uh, you know, we're most known for our Body by Vi 90-day challenge, where people sign up on a 90-day weight loss challenge. They save money in the grocery store line. Um, they lose weight and they tell their friends about it. And we, in fact, created a program. In fact, it's changing the entire direct selling industry called the Three for Free program, where if a person signs up and they get three people to join them on their challenge with them, we auto ship their product for free. And right now, at presently, we're auto shipping over $10 million a year worth of free product. That single innovation is completely changing the entire direct selling industry and has made us the fastest growing company within it. What's your business model? How do you make money? Uh, we make money through the sale of products to uh, end consumers. We're a weight loss company. So our business model is uh, we're a 90-day challenge. Uh, in fact, uh, every minute of every day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, someone joins our Body by Vi 90-day challenge. And the results of the challenge, you know, them losing weight, feeling good, saving money in the grocery store line, has resulted in a, a company that is growing at about 20 plus percent per month compounded. Some people argue that multi-level uh, marketing companies are like Ponzi schemes. How would you respond to that critique? You know, I, I wrote a book, or I'm sorry, I wrote a book. In the book, I wrote a chapter called Pros and Cons of Home-Based Businesses. You know, multi-level marketing companies are very difficult business models. You have many degrees of compensation, and it's very tricky. And one of my philosophies is compensation drives behavior. So if you compensate for the wrong behaviors, like for example, if you pay a person more to recruit a distributor, meaning a person to sell your product, versus a customer, meaning a person to consume your product, you're going to have a lot more distributors than customers. At Vaisalus, our ratio is nearly 10 to 1, meaning we have 10 more customers per distributor. So uh, we're a company that's focused on sales, and we actually reward our distributors more for selling a person to be a customer than to be a, a, an entrepreneur. And our model is we say let entrepreneurs be entrepreneurs and let customers be customers. And that's the way business works. So, you know, we take a lot of pride in having ripped apart the direct selling business model and hopefully change the entire industry because, you know, I, I didn't want to be in direct selling. I'm a high technology entrepreneur. I wanted to change the way the business was done. So your product is essentially your network. Is that fair? Uh, no. Uh, in my company, the product is a meal replacement shake. Uh, and then Which a variety you, do you of make other... those, though? Do you produce oh, yeah. those yourself? Oh, yeah. We produce them. Uh, we have si <laughs> chief scientist officers. We have uh, uh, warehouses. It's not, uh, we don't sell other people's products. We only sell our own innovations. We have patents in some of our products and patents pending. And uh, yeah, we're a real product company. I'm, I'm a product of it. I was 260 pounds at one point, and now I'm about 185 or so. You're based in Southern California. What do you think uh, us Northern Californian Silicon Valley types can learn both from uh, your business and from multi-level marketing generally? Well, you know, for example, Stella and Dot is a great multi-level marketing company out there in the Bay. Uh, I, I can't recall the VC fund that just bought... Uh, uh, 30 million bucks worth of that company. But you're seeing a lot of VCs move into direct selling public companies. Warren Buffett bought Pampered Chef. Blythe bought Vaisalus. Stella and Dot has a big VC behind it. I can't recall who. The reason why is direct to consumer and consumer trust and consumer referral are the new kind of marketing, relationship marketing. And so our business models have built on, been built on social networks. In fact, the most parallel type of business model I can tell you to network marketing uh, on the planet is Facebook, who's basically using your social referral and your social trust to sell products of advertisers. Eventually, they're going to turn your profile into a commerce page, and they're going to be in my business. So that's why we're innovating so actively right now to hopefully uh, have a nice competition for the uh, trust of uh, consumer referral. So are you saying then that essentially Facebook is a multi-level marketing company? No, no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that there will be degrees of pay. And if you look at Amazon's affiliate programs and you look at various affiliate programs out there that pay multiple degrees of commission based on, a, you know, on referral, uh, you're going to see a big mutation occur uh, as companies in the direct selling multi-level marketing industry go out of business because the fight for the consumer dollar is precious, it's difficult, and there's a lot of smart people out there after it. Facebook's one of them. Apple's after the consumer dollar. I mean, we all are, right? But the person who does it the best and serves the consumer the most is going to win, ultimately, the most consumer discretionary spending. 
And that's what we're all looking for right now in the you know, uh, business to consumer space. Do you think that there's innovation in Southern California that, uh, that we're not aware of in Northern California? What are the most exciting things going on down there at the moment? Well, you know, I, I, uh, I certainly believe my companies are the most exciting innovators out there. And our mobile applications company, uh, Vaisalis, and some of the other uh, uh, ventures that we've invested in along the way. There's a lot of innovation, but it tends to be uh, entertainment driven, um, you know, and, and uh, it's not necessarily the same as the Silicon Valley. In fact, MySpace was probably one of the biggest innovations that occurred out of L.A. Uh, and unfortunately, that, you know, didn't work out so well with his parents' company. And Ryan, if people want to contact you, what's the best way of doing it? In my book, I put my email address in there. You can write in. Uh, go to my blog, nothingtolose.com, or you can go to Facebook, uh, ryanblair.fans, or follow me on Twitter, at Ryan Blair. So if you want to contact me, I'm easy to get a hold of. Anyone except the wrong women, right? Yeah. Well, they can contact me, too. I'll just, uh, I'll just learn that mistake over and over and over again.